We're going to break down this analog output card along with an analog input terminal. So right here we have a analog single channel analog output card for a 920i or a 520 or a 720 or any 20. Um, here we have our green Phoenix terminal and here we have a mode select jumper. If you can see we change that jumper to select voltage or input. Um, on the side of this terminal here it explains okay we have I plus I minus that's current plus current minus or voltage plus and voltage minus. On the back of our connector for our process meter, um, it's nicely labeled on the connector itself. Um, we have our common uh, V plus if we were using a voltage output, milliamp plus if we were using a four to 20 or zero to 20 milliamp output. We have excitation plus, and then we have T plus, that's if we were using temperature or something else with a different signal. Um, so, um, yeah, so as you can see here, we have our connector already made up. So we have I plus and I minus. I plus going to red and I minus going to white. Um, I minus is then going on white to calm and I plus is going to milliamp plus. Um, so this is a good uh, correct two wire configuration for this. Um, so let's uh, come up with a scenario. Let's say we have um, an analog output uh, from a scale controller or from anything and we want to go to voltage. Um, so how do we go from current to voltage? Um, we use Ohm's law. Um, so if we were to or we can go backwards using Ohm's law as well. So let's say we're in current and we want to go to voltage. Um, so if we placed a resistor in shunt with our analog output, that would give us a voltage. Um, so knowing that we have uh, four to 20 milliamps or zero to 20 milliamps, if we take 10 volts and divide that by 0 0.020, that would be 20, 0.02 amps or 20 milliamps. So if we take our voltage, um, 10 volts would be our max in our 0 to 10 volts, and divide that by 20 milliamps, we would get 500. So we could place a 500 ohm resistor in between our V plus and COM and move this red wire to V plus. That's our I plus coming off our output card. And we can change this over to voltage output instead of a current output for this two wire setup so what i'm gonna do now is disconnect our wires and there we have it with a single resistor and a uh, zero to 20 milliamp output we can change our output from 0 to 20 milliamps to 0 to 10 volts dc with the 500 ohm resistor um yeah i don't know if you've noticed the color code on this resistor but this is actually a 250 ohm resistor if we put two of these in series we can actually make our 500 ohm resistor so right now in this configuration um if we were outputting 0 to 20 milliamps um zero we would have zero volts uh, 20 milliamps we would have 10 volts so if we outputted 4 milliamps with our setup that would lead us with uh, what uh, 4 times 10 divided by 20 using cross multiplication we're going to have 2 volts so basically when we're outputting 4 milliamps we're going to have 2 volts um, the trick behind it is we need to set up 0 to 20 milliamps in order to scale and span a range of 0 to 10 volts as we know that 4 milliamps would put us at 2 volts.